Yes, so welcome back, Ahlan wa Sahlan, marhaba. So we're talking manners of the masjid, masjid, manners of the mosque. So we are on the fourth point, I believe. The fourth manners of the masjid is, um, let us repeat once again uh, from the beginning, the first manners of the masjid is that dua when you are going to the masjid, when you are leaving the masjid, when you are leaving for masjid, there is a dua, and I mentioned it. And then the second manner of the masjid is this, that walking to the masjid with calmness and serenity. And the third manner of the masjid is this, that we should avoid onion and garlic while we are going to offer the salat in the masjid because onion and garlic have a special kind of smell. Or if by chance, if you eat onion and garlic, so use some miswak or brush or te teeth or use some gum so that you can eliminate the, the, the onion, and the smell of that thing. Now the fourth uh, manners of the masjid or the etiquette of the masjid is this, a dua in the dukhul al-masjid, the supplication for entering the masjid. The first supplication that I mentioned, that is when you leave your home to go to the masjid. And I mentioned Allahumma ja'al fi qalbi nura. So this is the dua that when you enter the masjid, and we know this very famous dua, and I will request to the studio, please put that dua on the screen. So you can see it on the screen as well, inshallah. What is that dua? Very easy. Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa said, Abu Humaid, and Abu Usaid radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrated this hadith from Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imam Abu Dawood transmitted this. The Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that إذا دخل أحدكم المسجد فليقول When one of you enters to the masjid, he should say Allah مفتح لي أبواب رحمتك Ya Allah, open the doors of the mercy for me. It's a very important dua. You are not saying Ya Allah, open the door of the mercy. You are saying open the doors, plural. So it's like plenty doors. Doors of the mercy for me, doors of, for my business, door for my, uh, for my home, for my life, for each and every single thing. Ya Allah, open the doors of the mercy for me, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Good, beautiful dua. Don't deprive yourself from this dua. Memorize it. Teach your children about this dua. So the minute you enter into the masjid, say this dua, inshallah, full azim. Allahumma aftahli, abuwa wa rahmatik. And then when you leave the masjid, what is the dua? Allahumma inni as'aluka min fadlika wa rahmatika. Uh, that Ya Rabbul Alameen, Allah, I ask you from your favor. Allahumma inni as'aluka min fadlik wa rahmatik. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, I ask uh, your, uh, I ask you from your favor, from, from your favor. Allahumma inni as'aluka min fadlik. You understanding? And I ask your mercy as well, Ya Rabbul Alameen. You can see it on your uh, TV screen as well. And this is something very important that Imam Abu Dawood mentioned. It is something very important to do it. He says that when you make this dua, in the beginning, send salutations upon Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Means that say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad till end, and then make this dua. Allahumma aftahli abu wa rahmati. Good, when you are entering. And when you are leaving the masjid, once again, send salutations upon Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad or any durood, and then make this dua. Allahumma anni as'aluka min fadli. Is it understand? Is it understood? Very easy. Just to get the blessing, inshallah. The more durood we are reading, uh, the, the more reward inshallah so this was the fourth etiquette we know it and there is a next dua as well very famous dua that Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make this dua Abu Dawood transmitted this, uh, this hadith this dua from Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Hazrat Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrated this, this, this dua Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make this dua A'uzu billahi al-azim wa bi wajhihi al-kareem wa sultanihi al-qadeem min al-shaytani rajim beautiful dua Ya Allah I take refuge with Allah I take refuge with Allah, the supreme, and uh, the supreme, and with His noble face and His eternal authority from the accursed devil. From the accursed devil means that you are asking Allah, Ya Allah, protect me from the shaitan. Good. In short, you are asking Allah protect me from the whispers of the shaitan. So the minute you enter into the masjid, make this dua. If you do not know this dua, it is also on your screen. You can see it. If you do not know this dua, so never mind. Just say Auzu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem. Good ask Allah, Ya Allah, protect me from the whisper, whispers of the shaitan. Why? Because remember, when you go in the masjid and when you stand for a salat, what happens? Thoughts start to come in our mind. You know, whispers of the shaitan start to come in our mind. So this is the best thing to avoid it, inshallah. You know, when you will do these things, when you will implement the sunnah of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will see the difference in your life. You will see the difference in your life. And then Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that, um, you know, uh, uh, when somebody says this dua, what is the dua? A'uzu billahi al-azim wa bi wajhihi al-kareem wa sultanihi al-qadeem min ash-shaytan al-rajim. I take refuge with Allah the Supreme and with His noble face and His eternal authority from the accursed devil. Whoever says this, then shaitan says to that person, Hufiza minni sa'ir al-yawm. Sa'ir al-yawm. It is protected from me. He is protected from me for the rest of the day. Shaitan says, He is protected from me for the rest of the day just because of this dua. You see how beautiful, how powerful this dua is? 
So inshallah, Aziz, let us practice the sunnah of Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now the the next etiquette, the next manner of the masjid is this: that it is uh, recommended to enter in the masjid with the right foot and leave the masjid with the left foot. We know this, and it is narrated by Hazrat Ibn Umar. Ibn Bukhari transmitted this hadith. So when you enter to the masjid, enter with the right foot. Good, right foot. And while you are putting the right foot in the masjid, say this dua: Allah maftahli abu wa rahmatik. And when you are leaving the masjid, put your uh, left foot first out of the masjid and while you are doing this, say this dua, Allahumma inni as'aluka min fadlik. And if by chance, by mistake, if you put the wrong foot while you are entering or while you are leaving the masjid, so it is not the sin that you committed, okay? It's okay. And sometimes we see people, for example, if you saw somebody that he did this mistake, so don't go and uh, criticize him. You just correct him nicely, but don't go and say, okay, look, this person don't even know how to enter the masjid, how to leave the masjid. Probably he has some pressure in his mind. Probably he has some, some, some kind of things in his mind, so he forget. So stop being judgmental. The point is this, stop being judgmental. St stop uh, assuming, okay, you know, this person, look, uh, what he's doing. No, 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 it's something that, sunnah. It is not something obligatory. What if probably he forget, forget, probably, you understanding? Inshallah, but it is highly recommended when you are leaving the masjid, leave the, with your uh, left foot. And when you are entering the masjid, enter the masjid with your right foot, inshallah. Now, the, another etiquette of the masjid, inshallah, is is this that al salatu tahiyyatul masjid qabl al julusi salatu tahiyyatul masjid qabl al julusi it is recommended to perform tahiyyatul masjid the two rakat uh, nafil two rakat nafil when you enter the masjid what is tahiyyatul masjid greeting the masjid like the first thing that you should do the minute you enter the masjid is to offer the two rakat nafil this is something proven from the sunnah of nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Imam Bukhari transmitted this hadith. Uh, Abu Qatada radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrated this. Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, إِذَا دَخَلَ أَحَدَكُمُ الْمَسْجِدِ فَالْيَرْكَعْ رَكَعَتَيْنِ قَبْلَ أَنْ يَغْلِسِ That when one of you enters the masjid, he should offer two rakat nafil before he sits in the masjid. So the very first thing that you have to do in the masjid, the minute you enter, before you sit, is to offer the two rakat nafil. But it is only at that time when you have the time. You know, when you have the time like, Okay, for example, the, the, the Jamaat is going to stand, the Jamaat is going to begin, Zohar Salat is going to begin. So now you, you can't just offer this two rakat nafil, okay? Just uh, inshallah, because obligatory prayer is more important. Good. What is, uh, so inshallah, if you have time, if you have time, inshallah, you came early in the masjid, 15, 20 minutes early. So this is the best thing that you can do, inshallah, offer two rakat nafil. But if you came five minutes before the Zohar Salat, so now what you have to do? You have to offer the four rakat sunnat. So you don't offer these two rakat nafil because nafil comes after the sunnah. The first category is the obligatory and then the sunnah, then the nafil. Okay? So obligatory first and then the sunnah and then the nafil. So if you have five minutes for the Zohar Salat, so offer the four rakat sunnah because so, so those four rakat sunnah are sunnah muakkida, emphasized sunnah of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mostly he used to do this, mostly on the regular basis. Good? So offer those two rakat, for, uh, those four rakat sunnah. But if you came 15 minutes early, just giving you an uh, uh, idea make, to making you understand how to offer these two rakat nafil, like greeting the masjid. For example, you came 15 minutes uh, before the Salatul Zuhur, so now you have 15 minutes. So offer these two rakat nafil, then azan will go, and after the azan, inshallah, offer the four rakat sunnah and then wait for the, uh, for the imam to begin the uh, Zuhur Salat. I hope you understood. If you're not understanding these points, so you can call me, you will see the number on your screen, or you can text me inshallah you can whatsapp me inshallah i'm there to respond to your any question any question concerning to salat zakat hajj fasting anything inshallah if i know i will love to reply to you brother hasib how many minutes i have three minutes we have inshallah alhamdulillah may allah bless brother hasib may allah bless our see bless our see on inshan ismail our entire staff brother shiraz brother fazir mashallah doing great job doing great job and especially our sponsors mashallah sponsors those who are contributing it May Allah bless them, may Allah enrich them, may Allah guard them and guide them, protect them and save them from all calamities. Duas are going from them, for them from the bottom of our heart. Believe me, in the month of Ramadan, we are making these duas for you. And all the transmissions that are coming, people are watching throughout the country, Trinidad and Tobago, throughout the world, because of your support, mashallah. So keep supporting IBN, inshallah, for the sake of Allah, Islamic Broadcasting Network. So I'm pausing here, and inshallah, I will continue tomorrow, uh, the etiquettes of the masjid, the manners of the masjid, so I'm going to fulfill the promise now. What is that promise? That every night I will give you one dua. Yesterday I gave you the dua. What was the dua? Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana 
وفی اللہ آخرتی حسنہ وقینا عذاب النار یسٹری آئی گیو یو دعا اور آئی ایکسپلینڈ یو ان ڈیٹیل سو ٹوڈے آئیم گوئی تو گیو یو دا سیکنڈ دعا سو وائی وٹ وی آر ڈوئنگ ایکچولی بائی اینڈ آف دا تھرٹی ڈیز آف دا منتھ آف رمضان انشاءاللہ وی ویل بی ایبل ٹو نو تھرٹی دعاز انشاءاللہ وی وانٹ ٹو میمورائز ایوری ڈے دا دعا دیٹ آئی گیو یو میمورائز اٹ پریکٹس اٹ یو نو ٹرائی ٹو نو دا میننگ آف اٹ انشاءاللہ آئی ویل ٹیچ یو دا دعا ود دا ریفرنس انشاءاللہ سو دا ٹوڈیز دعا از از کنسرن ٹو دا فرسٹ آشرا ریمبر رمضان از ڈیوائڈڈ انٹو تھری پارٹس گڈ آشرا مین ٹین ڈیز سو اٹ ہیز تھری ٹین ڈیز تھری سیٹ آف ٹین ڈیز فرسٹ ٹین ڈیز از دا ٹین ڈیز اور دا فرسٹ آشرا از دا آشرا آف دا مرسی رحمہ رحمہ اینڈ دا سیکنڈ ٹین ڈیز سیکنڈ آشرا آف دا منتھ آف رمضان از واٹ مغفرا فار گیونس تھرڈ آشرا اور دا تھرڈ ٹین ڈیز آف دا منتھ آف رمضان از واٹ عید قوم من النار دا سالویشن اور دا فریڈم فرام دا ہیل فائر سو دیر آر سم پرٹیکولر دعا سم اسپیسیفک دعاز فار ای فار ایچ ٹین ڈیز فار ایچ آشرا سو دا دعا آف دا فرسٹ ٹین ڈیز دعا فار دا فرسٹ آشرا از واٹ different du'as you can say any du'a since it is about the mercy so make some du'a concerning to the mercy of Allah so I will recommend this du'a to you inshallah the du'a is mentioned in the Quran as well uh, chapter t- uh, 23 write it you, you can see on your screen as well chapter 23 is Suratul Mu'minun chapter 23 verse 118 118 chapter 23 11 uh, verse number is 118 good Suratul Mu'minun so du'a what is the du'a رب غفر ورحم وانت خیر الراحمین گڈ سو سی ود می ان شاء اللہ لیٹ می ایکسپلین اٹ دین یو ول ریپیٹ آفٹر می ان شاء اللہ وٹ ڈز اٹ مین یا اللہ فار گیو می یا اللہ او مائی رب او مائی لارڈ فار گیو می اینڈ ہیو مرسی اپون می ورحم وانت خیر الراحمین یو آر دا بیسٹ آف دوز ہو شو مرسی بیوٹیفل دعا بیوٹیفل دعا فرسٹ یو آر آسکنگ یا اللہ فار گیو می اینڈ وین یو آسک اللہ یا اللہ فار گیو می سو یو شوڈ برنگ آل یور سنس ان یور ان یور مائنڈ if you can if you can remember okay the sin that you committed in your life minor and this major ya allah forgive my sins that i committed ya allah throughout my life ha huh? say this rabbi ghfir and then warham and have mercy upon me mercy mean ya allah have mercy upon me upon uh, when it comes to the health when it comes to the uh, business when it comes to the life when it comes to the family when it comes to the sustenance when it comes to the uh, job anything You know, mercy, mercy, we need Allah's mercy in each and every single thing. Good? So when you say, Ya Allah, have mercy upon me, so bring all those things in your mind that you want mercy for. Good? That you want Allah's mercy for. Good? Inshallah. So whenever you make these duas, you should bring all those thoughts in your mind, Inshallah. Allah will accept it. And always make the dua with the conviction, with the belief, with the full, uh, you know, like with, with, like with the steadfastness, Inshallah, that Inshallah for sure Allah is going to respond to my duas. So, Rabbi ghafir wa raham wa anta khair rahimin. So, I'm going to say it, repeat with me, inshallah, word by word. Rabbi ghafir, once again I'm saying, Rabbi ghafir wa raham wa anta khair rahimin. Khair rahimin. Good, you can see on your screen as well, and if you want to open in the Quran, so chapter 23, verse 118, 118. Ya Allah, forgive me, have mercy upon me. You are the best of those who show the mercy. Beautiful dua. Make this dua in the first 10 days of the month of Ramadan. Good? In the first 10 days of the month of Ramadan. Or you can also make this dua. Ya Hayu, Ya Qayyum, Bi Rahmatika Astaghis, Inshallah, Hulaziz. So it was our... So Inshallah, Hulaziz, tomorrow, Inshallah, uh, Inshallah, we'll see you once again. So I hope that you enjoyed and you understood whatever we talked. We talked about the manners of the masjid. Inshallah, we will continue tomorrow. you know convey this message to the rest of your brothers and sisters inshallah and remember this program will be repeated tomorrow on every morning actually at half past 11 inshallah 11:30 am so until then take care of yourself allah hafiz <laughs>